Lawmakers, we are back. It's day two and well, I, I finished the other bench as you probably saw already. And what I did was I attached four screws. Um, Lawmakers, we are back. It's the following day and yesterday, well, I finished the second bench as it is here. Um, I also attached them together with four screws running underneath, so they're secure to each other. I did make a few boo-boos because the screws aren't exactly the same uh, on both benches, but to be completely honest, it doesn't bother me. I, I don't need this to be perfect. I, I don't need it to look exceptionally well. I just need it to be functional. And this is as functional as it gets. It's spacious. I have lots of storage room downstairs or underneath, downstairs. Today, what I'm gonna do is install a couple of these to the concrete wall uh, with these 10 by 80 bolts. Um, and then finally, we're gonna install this. This is a boom arm. Uh, it's an extendable rotating boom arm. It's gonna go on the side there and attached to this, instead of a light, usually these have lights. Um, I have an articulated camera arm here. So this will go in the end here. Um, and this will allow me to extend and move the camera around wherever I want. It could be down here with a left shot and an overhead camera if I wanted to. It'll be attached right here in the end. Uh, so I can put it away nicely if I don't need it and I have a nice clean backdrop. So we're gonna go start ahead. I'm gonna mark up all this and start drilling into concrete, which is not a lot of fun, to be honest. And that is pretty much everything I had hoped for. So this was kind of like a shot in the dark for me. I, I assumed it would work. I wasn't sure it would. I got, as I said, the newer uh, or newer um, boom arm and then this two section Manfrotto arm and it works beautifully, literally, I can extend it. So if I want the camera, if I want a shot from left to right, I can simply just extend this like that and then just undo all these and I can literally move the camera however I please and then once I find the position that I want I can just tighten everything up and the camera remains there and the good thing is that since this is mounted against the wall it doesn't matter whether or not I hit the desk or I move the desk a little bit or you know just because that's gonna remain fixed and absolutely perfect. So now what's left is for me to clean up this mess and well, well, basically we'll test out um, the, uh, the articulates camera because we're gonna start assembling all the parts that I have of the HobbyZone organizer system.
is it what what that was quite a bit of work but man i have my dream a bench now and and it's gonna be awesome now i did a few other things since then i did my um air gun holster i modified a bit the uh the airbrush holder i did a few hooks to to uh, mount my goggles and my mask and it's gonna be a work in progress there's always going to be more i want to add and modify but the fact that i put the kind of wood backboard there um it makes life much easier for me because i can you know screw in things take them out change things whenever i want and i don't have to stay drilling holes inside the wall constantly and then you know have the building collapse on top of me but i'm super excited now i already did the test piece i kind of sat down spent a couple of days just airbrushing getting back into the groove of things and i did photos mints butterfly dragon which turned out absolutely awesome could have been a little bit better um but i'm happy with the result it was just a test piece for me to sort of get back into the groove. I didn't record anything uh, because I kind of just want to take my time, not worry about camera angles and sort of, you know, stuff like that. But I'm very happy the the camera arm is incredibly awesome, uh, much better than I anticipated. It was like a shot in the dark for me to figure out whether it would work and it absolutely did. It's just an extendable boom arm with a two arm Manfrotto just sort of connected to it. And then I hooked up one of these LED panels so I have better concentrated light when I'm airbrushing. And yeah, that's that's basically it. So I will leave links in the video description for all the parts that I did, um, uh, the just in case you guys need them. Um, I will also leave links to Hobby Zone, their, their modular um, organizers are absolutely amazing very nice guys left me personalized notes on each and every single order that i did um, so i'm very happy and i'm more than happy to promote them and now it's basically that's that's it for for the series let me know if you enjoy this kind of stuff um I, I i am a maker i don't necessarily always do just 3d printed stuff i do tend to do other things as well around the house and my car and everything so let me know if you enjoy this kind of stuff although i always do tend to include a bit of 3d printing in things so once again that is it for me guys thank you very much for watching i want to thank my patrons for the absolutely awesome support if you want to support me and this channel make sure you check it out i do weekly vlogs for patrons only and also members only um so yeah and um and that's it okay so thank you very much for watching once again make sure you like share subscribe ring that bell for notifications just you know so you can make sure that you're constantly notified when video comes up and as always happy making guys mm -hmm.